What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Be Is For Build. In today's episode, we bought three of China's fastest electric go-karts and we're gonna see how they go. Stay tuned. Go-karts. Earlier in the year, we built all race cars and uh, see the problem with race cars is you gotta rent a track to race on. Go-karts, parking lot becomes your racetrack. And thanks to these fine Chinese products right here, uh, we should be able to get racing pretty quickly. So these are the Ninebot Go-Kart Pros. I forgot everything about them, but I'll tell you that later. Ninebot is kind of a sketchy company. They started by uh, copying, uh, allegedly, I don't have good luck with lawyers and things, but so this is allegedly, from what I've heard, is that they started copying Segway's models out there in China and they made so much money and did so well that they just bought Segway. So Ninebot owns Segway, but this is their own go-kart. And um, well, let's let's start unboxing and see how the, uh, the the build procedure goes. Got a knife, Oscar? This, this is the only tool I'm expecting to need to use to set these up. I hope so. I ordered these in early October. It is February now. They did arrive about two or three weeks ago, but uh, it was one of those like indie uh, wait and see campaigns if they ever show up. So uh, the wait time was significant. But the benefit is we should be some of the first people in the US to have these. They've been in China for a while. They actually partnered with Lamborghini and made a Lamborghini model. I was not able to get. And when they were doing their launch of these things, they actually contacted a lot of YouTubers. And again, allegedly, they've been doing some somewhat shady business where they offer the YouTubers cash and to borrow the electric go-kart to make a positive review of the product. So it's not a true review and they're not just saying, here's a go-kart, have fun with it, let's see what happens. It's more of a, here's money, say nice things about our company promotion. So uh, we said no to that and we just paid cash so we can be totally upfront and honest about how these things do and if they you know, live up to what they said that they can do. And that's not the first time Segway slash Ninebot has done this. I know that they also did it with their uh, electric dirt bike dealie. I'm gonna use the splitter. Oh, there's some heavy. This, like they do with those wine glasses on the table. Dude, I got it. Oh! So there's gonna be some assembly. This could take a while. Okay, now a uh, really annoying thing about these is you gotta connect with an app and then it'll allow you to unlock the features. I think there's a drift mode and then we can go faster and, and whatnot. But anyways, I'll take this one guys and then you, you know, uh, figure it out. <laughs> Quick hour and a half later, and all of these are charged up to 100%, so it's time to hit the road. All right, we're out here at the new Beast for Build testing ground. You guys ready for the inaugural drag race? Yep. Oh yeah, there's a speed bump. We're going from here to the speed bump. All right, we all lined up square. You know, I think we're good. Three, two, one. I think they should be going faster than this. I'm pulling ahead of you. This, this fast in China? Why are you guys going faster than me? Oh no! <laughs> I hit the brake! <laughs> they might have some nanny state stuff on the software here. Might need to, uh, might need to switch modes. Alright, we figured something out here. If you go from safe mode, watch a million tutorials, activated track mode, 23 mile an hour, Top speed. You guys all set? Yep. I think so. All right, now the race is fastest one to the speed bump without crashing into it. No going around it either. Let's accelerate and stop race. Yes. All right. Boys ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Oscar, Oscar. Holy Jesus. Oscar hit it! I think I won! <laughs> we all we all locked him up and spun him around. <laughs> so these are dangerous. Oh yeah, you can do that. These have drift mode right out of the box. I thought they were supposed to be a drift mode. Oh my god, here. Head block! Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> that's, the best, too easy. that's the best base for build drift ever. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is how we get burnouts. We just gotta buy go-karts. First impressions, these are pretty fun. These are fun. Yeah, 23 is pretty good speed. Oh, dynamic turning up to 100. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? That's 80 to 100 is drifting. Ah, okay. Let me make some adjustments here. We have figured out our course for karting. You start at that tree right there on the other side of the curb. Come down, around the bend, around this bend, floor it through here, right side of the orange cones over there. That's our turnaround cone. You gotta turn around that cone, floor it right back. Finish line is that white cone right there. Settings are to be decided by you. You can have drift mode on or off. Got a stopwatch? Yep. Uh, Oscar, are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Spin out, spin out, spin out, spin out, spin out, spin out, yes! <laughs> 21 33. Alright, Kyle, you're up. Every time we race go karts, these guys just totally destroy me. But every time we race cars, I've been winning. So I'm just really hoping that I can, I don't know. Bring, bring in some car knowledge over here. I don't. I gotta keep the streak going. Three, two, one, go! Oh, the spin out! <laughs> I thought I was gonna keep that. Oh, the double spin out! That's two seconds. Seconds. <laughs> 25 with the two second penalty, 25, 29. Ready? Three, two, one, go! By multiple seconds, <laughs> I will take you fools. All right, so how do we make this a lap? So if we come back through here, go up and around and back, we should do a two lap race. Nobody die. These things are a little tippy. <laughs> when it gets into the dry, it gets on two wheels. That's a really fast straight in the de-icer. How are we gonna record this? I'm gonna try and stick a GoPro onto this sign. I've only been YouTubing for six to seven years, so I'm still learning, you know, things like bring a tripod, strap a backpack to your go-kart, you know, these things. All right, kart racing. I came in the lead, I think, because I started in the lead, but... Uh, that's the advantage of pole position. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. So, clearly as go-karts, they work pretty damn well. This is a good time. They're a lot of fun. We still have about 75% of our battery, so I know what you guys are all wondering. How does it do against the Lamborghini Huracan? <laughs> so you uh, wanna go from a dig or do you wanna do a roll? Go for 40 roll? I can't go 40. Oh, you, you can't go 40? I can't go 40. 30 roll? Seven. Maybe we should just go from a dig. Let's go from a dig. Three, two, one, go! I mean, that was a test that just needed to be done. The, yeah. pe the people, I, I know the people wanted to know like what happens when you line up against a Huracan. So, in the zero to 60 foot, uh, you're about a second behind. Yeah. That's, I mean, dude, to buy something for however much those cost and only be a second slower than a Lamborghini, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, we're just proving that electric cars aren't the future. Take that, GM. <laughs> you guys want another life hack? You can buy legitimate, basically authentic Lamborghini keys on eBay for like $85. And you cannot tell the difference between a real one and a fake one. On my real one, the gold frickin' dongle leaf thing fell off. So before we get down to the real science, I know another thing that everybody's been asking me is, Q 
can three of them pull my my truck you know like what happens when I, my truck gets stuck can we can 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 three carts tethered together like pull pull a truck that's that's a very commonly yeah. asked question so um, let's find out three two one yeah yeah. Oh my god, it works really good. Wow, that's like almost well, too easy. Yeah. So, three go cars could unstick your truck. I mean, as long as you're in a parking lot, like a flat parking lot, like if you have problems with ice or de ice or anything, clearly, easy pull. No problem. The torque. Okay, so Oscar wanted to know if one could pull it, which is like, yeah, I'm pretty sure one can pull it. It would be fine to see, but really what I'm trying to do is kill his battery here, because when we do the range test, whoever runs out first has to get the Uber home. So the more we can kill his battery more than ours, the better. Three, two, one, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Dude, we should get in there and steal. Oh, keep going, keep going. Uphill, a little burnout. Dude, that thing is cruising. Yeah, I can get it going quick. That's not stopping. Very impressive. Okay. Nine bot slash Segway. <laughs> Very impressive. Got the power. Hey, Oscar, funny thing. That go-kart's worth twice as much as your truck. <laughs> <laughs> now that we got the really serious tests out of the way, we got to test how fast these things go. They are advertised to go 23 miles an hour. This looks like a drag strip parking lot if I've ever seen one. So uh, I'll hold the camera and watch, the, no, you hold the camera. Mm -hmm. I have crashed once before while holding cameras and driving. <laughs> um, I'll hold the phone and announce my speeds as we go by. I'll try and get it pegged to 23. 15, 18, 20, 20, 20. 21 .1. If you can't get to max speed going somewhat downhill across about 200 feet of parking lot, I don't, I don't know when you are. 21.1. It's all. I really, I want to give it another try, but you got to do it both ways in order. To... No, 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 yeah. no, <laughs> no. This is like that new supercar dealie. <laughs> Boys, it's time for the final challenge. The bar is 1.1 miles away from here. Walking directions. Can the carts make it there and back on, pause, 53% battery? That is our mission. Mine is much lower. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for the range test. We are going to try and go to the bar 1.1 miles away on the sidewalks, I guess? I don't know. And then get home. If anyone breaks down, first person to break down has to buy the Uber back to the truck to recover your vehicle. Uh oh, guys, we're gonna have to do our first off roading, I think. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that bush. I'm really, I am sorry about that bush. Yeah, we'll make it over the tracks. We gotta wait for this train. This being Portland, this was actually, this sound was actually recorded by an independent organic uh, DJ using only natural melodies from uh, Uganda playing off of uh, bagpipes of uh, ancient Australian aboriginals. It's a very art artisanal beat. How am I gonna open it? Well, I'm not going until that thing shuts off. I'm not going until this guy can go. Okay, this guy can go. Here we go. Ow! <laughs> Bro, I think we gotta open it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I think it opens in. This is a great way to go to the bar. This guy in the parking lot, my miles per hour. Can't be stopped. Where's the go kart valet? Ah, there it is, right there. Oh, I crashed. Oh, oh Oscar, these are brand new. <laughs> the brakes really don't work. No. And you guys thought it would be hard to find a parking spot? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty great. Easy. 
And we can watch, we can watch our car easily from our, our toggle right here. Battery check, guys. So, 45. 45%, I'm at 44. Oscar was reading 34, but now he's reading zero. <laughs> but that's okay. So Oscar's gone 2.6 miles, I've gone 2.4. And Kyle's got 2.7, oh, so. Way more efficient than mine. Looks like while driving around Spirited, like if you're doing racing and then going to the bar and doing a couple other things, you probably can assume that you're gonna get four to five miles of range. I looked through some of my documents and found the price. So we did a super early bird special that I ordered in October. Uh, it was $4,717 for the three, which said we saved about $1,280. Um, anyways, brought the total to $5,317 buying it on, on the deal. So they are like $1,700 electric go-karts. Yeah, that's definitely worth more than my truck. <laughs> <laughs> so I've noticed on the internet that oftentimes if you buy into these new technologies and you get them early and they're good, you can just, we could turn around and throw, like we did the waiting, we paid early, we did the waiting, we could throw around, turn them around on eBay and make a killing. We probably sell these for like 2,000 a piece. But we crashed them a good amount since we've got them. I mean, you're not selling these things on eBay anymore. So we got them, and in retrospect, I would say that the BS for build way is probably to spend your $1,700 buying a gas motor, building an axle, maybe even if you wanted to buy a frame online, um, and and go about it that way. I think it would be cheaper in the long run. I think it'd be cheaper. We know it would be faster than 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you can just keep filling up with gas, but you're probably not going to be able to race around in little parking lots because they're a lot louder. And like we're getting away with it because nobody knows we're there. So there's pluses and minuses. What I'm really curious is if I can get one of those electric motorcycles and uh, and swap this thing. So uh, you know, let me know if you guys want to see that. I'd love to put an electric motorcycle and battery pack into one of these go karts. Maybe maybe reinforce the frame a little bit, but I think that'd be really, really cool. Anyways, we are about to wrap up here. So we are going to drive back to our testing grounds and just race out the rest of our battery life. Oscar's definitely gonna run out of battery first, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is, it is really, really a lot of fun to race laps in these things. It's, it's right at the edge of scary and it's fun. They also got a ton of street cred. People love stopping and looking at them. So it's, it's, it's been fun. Let me know if you guys want us to review any more crazy stuff. Uh, we're super down. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace!